Welcome to the intellectual revolution that's defined society in Asian, Middle East, and African. Asian civilization. Our topic for today is all about intellectual revolution can define society in Asia. So, Asia revolution. Science and technology in Asia is very depending on the country and time. So, as we all know, sa iba't ibang panig ng ating bansa sa Asia ay napaka high-tech na ngayon. Dahil marami nang nag-invento ng teknolohiya para mapadali ang kanilang mga gawain. At sinusuportahan din ito ng kanilang gobyerno kaya't umunad ang kanilang bansa. At ito ang pinabahagi din nila sa iba't ibang bansa. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmates. I am Zulkar Nain M. Sama Jr. And today, we are going to report about the Asian, Middle East, and African Revolution. So if you are asking, what is the Asian Revolution? So the Asian Revolution is essentially the Industrial Revolution which took place here in the 19th century. So we are going to proceed in the Asian Revolution's contribution. In the past, the Asian civilizations most notable for, for their contribution to science and technology were India, China, and the West Asian civilizations. At present, probably the most notable country in Asia in terms of technological and scientific achievement is Japan, which is particularly known for their electronics and automobile products. In recent years, China and India were also one of the major contributors in our science and technology. Hi, my name is Carl B. Patentis from Social Work Department. I will discuss the intellectual revo revolution that defines society. Revolution of, of Asia. So, Asia. Asia. Japan, Japan is the most advanced technology in, in Asia. At present, probably the most notable country in Asia in terms of its technological and scientific achievement is Japan, which is particularly known for its electronics and automobile products. So, known kay ang Japan sa mga, ele sa mga electronic products, parehas ng mga appliances na to, o mga electronics. So, why Japan is, why Japan is te technologically advanced? Unsa nga no nga Japan kay kanang advance kay lang teknolohiya. The source of Japan's technological advancements is undoubtedly from the youth of Japan. Statistics statistics show that uh, among 34 OECD countries, Japanese students per, per, performance levels rank in second in mathematics and first in science. Japan spends around 3.59% of GDP in public spending education. So, ang Japan, naglaan doon sila kwarta para sa, sa mga estudyante para mulambo ilang ekonomiya. Kaya tungod sa hilig sa estudyante, matabangan, matabangan sa mga estudyante ang, ang ekonomiya sa Japan. So, what, what inventions did Japan make sa, make sa, sa, sa mga wala kabalo ang Taga Japan nagbuhat sa DVD, sa video camera, digital camera, sa Walkman, sa CD, karaoke, video tape recorder, electronic calculate, calculator. So, kabalo na mo kung kinsa nagbuhat. So, which country has best technology? So, ang Japan kay nag-top 1 sa in terms of technological expertise. Rank 1 sila. So, is Japan in... Is Japan leading in technology? In the last several years, Japan has undoubtedly become a leader in innovation in technology. Japan's progress in automation, use of robots, and integration of artificial intelligence with daily living is likely to continue to try better than in many other advanced economies. So, ang Japan yun kay pinaka-advanced yun siya na, na country sa Tibok Asia. Kay, kay ginatrabawan pa nila para Para mas lalo mo advance ilang technology. Huwag mo nga ito. 
As we know, Japan's achievements are particularly known for their electronic and automobile products, but there are also other Asian countries that are notable in different scientific fields, such as chemical and physics achievements. Actually, there was a study that was found out that Asian chemistry achievements are actually higher than the world's achievement. Some of these countries that are known for chemical and physics achievements are Hong Kong, Malaysia, Japan, and South Korea. Middle East Civilization Intellectual revolution is the time period when advancement of science and technology changed people's perceptions and beliefs. A product of the development and growth of individual, nationalism, imperialism for the efforts to westernize and modernize Middle Eastern societies and to push the declining power of the Ottoman Empire in the Arab region. Ottoman Empire was already in decline. The Ottoman army entered the war in 1914 on Germany and Australian Hungary, defeated in October 1918. Activists in other countries in the region were inspired by the regime change in Tunisia. The country's first democratic parliamentary election were held in October 2011 and began to put these similar authoritarian governments in their own nations. Hi, I'm Jordan Singson, and my video is all about the things invented in Middle East that we use in the every day. First, coffee discovered in the 11th century. Second is toothbrush invented in 3500 BC in Babylon and Egypt. Third, flying machine invented in Andalusia in 19th century. Crankshaft invented in 10th century. The fountain pen invented in Egypt in 10th century. The tailing time invented in 2000 BC in modern day of Iraq and Iran. Algebra <clears throat> and algorithm discovered from 19th century in Iran. The university from 9th century Morocco. <clears throat> Hospitals from 9th century Egypt. And lastly, the windmills from the 7th century Iran. That's all. Thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, classmates. Our topic for today is all about the Arab Agriculture Revolution. So when we say Arab Agriculture Revolution, it is the transformation in agriculture from the 8th to 13th century in the Islamic region of the Old World. So the agronomic literature of the time with major books by Ibn Basal and Abdul Kairal Ishabili demonstrates the extensive diffusion of useful plants to the medieval Spain or Al-Andalus. So the, in the growth in Islamic scientific knowledge of the agriculture and horticulture. So when we say horticulture, it is an art or practice of gardening, cultivation, and management. So the medieval Arab historians and geographers describe Al-Andalus abundant water full of fruit from trees such as olive and pomegranate. So pomegranate it is a kind of orange sized fruit with a reddish outer skin and sweet red gelatinous flesh. So the the archaeological evidence demonstrates the improvements in animal husbandry or care and irrigation such as the sakya or the water whale water whale and these changes made agriculture from more productive supporting population growth urbanization and increased stratification of the society that's all thank you african civilization in the 
last is African civilization. So according to some historian, itong mga African daw were nothing more than savages whose only contribution to the world farming and slaves. Alam niyo ba yung movie na 12 Years a Slaves? Pinakita doon na kung gaano naging slaves ang mga African under British empires. But the contrary, the history of ancient Africa, it's just interesting, complex, and sophisticated as any other ancient civilization. So, in lineage and culture achievements have emerged at least 40,000 years ago in Africa, that include the field of mathematics, astronomy, metallurgy, agriculture, and engineering, navigation, and as well as medicine. In mathematics, modern concept, in mathematics, like the first method of counting is developed in Africa. People in present Desire and Europa, people in what is the Nigeria developed their own numeration system 88,000 ago. The Europa system based on units of 20 instead of 10 and required impressive amount of subtraction to identify different numbers. Another field of contribution in Africa is in metallurgy. It is known that the oldest stone tools made by ancient people have been found in the eastern part of Africa. But not only are they adept in making stone tools, they have also advanced into the Iron Age. They excelled in the iron technology and developed many tools and equipment to improve their quality of life. These include steam engines, metal chisels and saws, copper and iron tools and weapons, nails, glue, carbon steel and bronze weapons and art. In terms of architecture and engineering in Africa, most would think of the accomplishments of the Egyptians. These were the towering obelisks and massive pyramids. In the 12th century and much further south, there were hundreds of great cities in Zimbabwe and Mozambique. There, massive stone complexes were the hubs of cities. The cities featured huge castle-like compounds with numerous rooms for specific tasks. In the 13th century, the Empire of Mali boasted impressive cities, including Timbuktu with grand palaces, mosques, and universities. African Civilization African Empire of Egypt developed diverse structure and great architectural monument along the Nile River. So, African Empire daw kailado sa mga infrastructure um, how sila mag-build o mga structure like pyramids. Example, Great Pyramids of Gaza and Great Sphinx of Gaza. Um, Kani siya mga libingan. So, darian nila gina lubong ilahang leaders like king, queen, nga na. So, ilahang mga structure usually ginatukod nila along Nile River kay dito man nag-start ilang civilization. So, Use plant with salicylic acid for, for pain, choline for bacteria, and extract kill gram positive bacteria. So, medyo weird ilang way sa pagtambal sa mga sakit-sakit like, si, like ano yung salicylic acid. Gina, buhat nila pain reliever pero dili man siya pang pain reliever. Marami siya pang para sa nao, kanang mga bugas-bugas sa nao. Ingana, so, lain sa dno, imno ni muna para lang mawala imong mga pamaol. Ingana, so... Medyo weird dito kay ilahang mga pamaagi. So, in short, how sila mag, how sila sa building structure pero dili sila kaayos science-centered or maybe dili pa sila how kaayos sa mga about anang use, usage sa tambal. Kay siguro kung feel nila maulian sila anang tambala, um, ginago lang nila. Bisa nula sila kabalok kumpara sa asa dito na. So, that's all. In addition to the report of Bearness, medicine in Africa is more advanced than in Europe. Ito po yung totoo kasi before dumating ang mga Europeans, napaka-advanced na rin ang kanilang medicine. And this medical procedure performed in ancient Africa include vaccination, filling the dental cavities, installation of false teeth, anesthesia, tissue cauterization, brain surgery, autopsy, limb traction, broken bone setting, bullet removal, and skin grafting. So yun din ang isa sa pinakamadistinguish natin in African civilization. There's medicine which is more advanced than European. Though para ma-stereotype ang mga African as slaves of European, 
But during before sila naging empire, na kung Europe ganito ang naging civilization nila, which is talaga nagkaroon din ang malaking change sa kanila. So guys, we hope that you learn from us. Thank you for listening and God bless.